Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're super excited because we're testing out the 7600X or more importantly, Ryzen 7000 series integrated graphics. So you might be seeing this video on launch day or the day after. Either way, we're gonna be showing you guys the new integrated graphics in this Zen 4 architecture, Ryzen 5 7600X to see if AMD has made good improvements on their integrated graphics. But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by, well, us and our PC selling business, PCBros.Tech. Matt and I founded PCBros.Tech because we wanted an affordable and more importantly, trusted company in the PC selling market, especially the gaming market. And if you like how we do our PC builds, you can buy one directly from us by going over to PCBros.Tech. And we also have laptops and a bunch of other cool tech stuff at pretty good prices, along with awesome warranties. So you don't have to worry about something failing on you and being lost without any help. So use the link in the description down below to go check out the website. And on top of that, if you use code TOASTYBROS2, you'll get 2% off. That code is always in place. And on top of that, we have amazing sales from time to time. PCBros.Tech, thanks for sponsoring the video. Look what we did. Let's get around to the video, shall we? So in this video, we actually have a couple of new things to show you guys. First of all, we have this Ryzen 5 7600X 6 core 12 thread. And on top of that, we have this Gigabyte Aorus X670E, which is actually an extreme version of the board, which is kind of unnecessary probably for this, but it's all we have have to test with. So make sure you guys check out both of our Ryzen videos because there will be one that's a super high-end build and then one that's just this. Now one thing we have to get out of the way before we do the benchmarking is that these integrated graphics on the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs are not designed to be replacements for the APU lineup. They're more meant to be for troubleshooting and some slight encoding and decoding. When we're doing these testings, do keep in mind we're just kind of testing a non-actual use case for these integrated graphics. We're just doing it because we're the Toasty Bros and that's what we like to do here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is put together our little test bin, showcase some products that we have on hand from some companies that were nice enough to send it over and then dive into some testing with some games that you would run with integrated graphics and kind of discuss the uh, idea of buying one of these without a GPU to see if it actually is worth doing so. All right, guys, we're installing this beautiful, weirdly shaped piece of equipment. So yeah, 7600X and um, it is now pinless because it is now a LGA style processor where it's a land grid array. So we no longer have pins on the CPU. This is a weird world we live in now. So, well, this is weird too. It's just two little notches. It's not like four or anything else. It's two. So just set it right in. And um, I guess just like before, we probably leave this bracket. Let's, let's find out. Let's break it before we start the video. Yep, pops yep. right off. Okay, it's just like Intel. I mean, God, that thing has some force to it. So simple. we are gonna be really cooling this thing because we're going open test bench. We don't want this thing to overheat. So look at this. We got the Kraken Z63. 63, it has an LCD I to call display. It something else, yeah. It's gonna display Ryzen. Yes, Maybe. it will. I don't know what it's gonna display. It'll probably just display the temperature automatically. So that'll be cool. We'll be able to see like the temp on the fly without having to have afterburner pulled up. But pre-applied thermal paste. One thing that, um, I want to disclaim real quick that Matt pointed out is the temperatures are going to be crazy on these new CPUs. Yes. They're basically saying, AMD themselves are saying, don't worry if you see 95 Celsius. And you're like, what? That's really hot, right? Well, they're saying that their new CPUs are designed to be able to run over 100C and still be fine, but 95 is going to be like their under load new temperature that run at the optimal performance. So and I think that's standard. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, don't freak out guys. I know a lot of you are still going to freak out because you just 95 C it's yeah, hot. You just don't listen, I guess. I don't know, but yeah, it's fine guys. Don't worry. Really good cooler for this. Let's get it on. Look at it, it's so pretty. But yeah, there's our test bench. Now let's see if we can move it over and uh, you know do some benchmarking. Yay. Let's do it. Now the GPU structure on this CPU is, well, a RDNA 2 based GPU, but the compute units are severely cut down versus the Vega ones as you see on like the 5600G and 5700G. All you're getting is two RDNA 2 compute units, which again is significantly less versus like the eight or nine compute units you would get on the other Vega GPUs, which are designed more for 1080p low settings gaming. But these right here, again, are more designed for things like getting AMD into other markets. So for all 
office use where they wouldn't get graphics cards normally. You can use these high-end CPUs in those computers now and you don't need a discrete graphics card and also for some hardware acceleration. So not gaming primarily, but we wanted to go ahead and show you guys what this thing was capable of in gaming. And as you can see on screen right here, we have good old Fortnite. And Fortnite, well, didn't do amazing. In all honesty, it was pretty close to an APU performance level. We were getting 60 plus FPS. When we walked inside a building, we get 100 plus sometimes. So it is definitely playable at 1080p low settings. But again, this is where we started to realize that it is not designed intentionally for gaming because you're not getting crazy performance. We're not getting the quoted like 1050 or uh, low end budget GPU performance that we were hoping from. Hopefully those will come in the future when it comes to some other G series processors that are more APU focused. But the graphics on board the CPU is more supplementary rather than a main feature in itself for lack of a better term. And now that brings us over to Apex Legends, which was considered to be a AAA title. So we really had to go low settings with this. I'm talking 720p, all those settings. and. We did manage to get like 30 to 60 FPS. And if these two RDNA units are as good as they are now, which I know it might seem like a bad performance, but you gotta keep in mind, this is severely cut down. I'm expecting that they'll be able to, you know, double, triple the performance we're seeing now with some of the APUs that come out, which this is all just speculation. But as you can see, a game like Apex, I mean, this is like pretty much approaching the area of unplayable. Yes, you can get away with it if you really want to, but really, we have to kind of just sell the point that this is a CPU, a very high-end CPU. They're definitely geared towards adding a graphics card and some insane performance, but obviously, if you can't afford a graphics card yet, maybe you're waiting for the 40 series to come out or AMD come out with their new graphics cards. This could hold you over in the meantime so you can have a working computer that you just pop a graphics card into when you're ready to go. And of course, you can get a reasonable motherboard for something like this as well. You don't need to use the X670E, which is all we had on hand for benchmarking. Whatever the lower chips that will end up being will probably make more sense. And whatever G processor does come out will work very well on those lower end chipsets as well, making a good replacement for the 5600G or 5700G. But we're gonna go ahead and end the benchmark run with a couple of built-in benchmarks. You guys can see some of the performance in higher end games. Again, it's not gonna be amazing, but we want to put some numbers out there for those curious about the IGP performance. And of course, stay subscribed because we'll be having a full build guide coming the next day, uh, where we're gonna actually slap in the 6900 XT with the Ryzen 9 and show you guys an awesome PC and show what these CPUs are capable of. But in terms of iGPU testing, this is what we got. We'll throw in the benchmarks and the rest of the video. So now just to wrap up this video guys, some of you may be wondering like, you know, what was the point of this video? It's basically just to show you what the integrated graphics are capable of. Yes, you are getting like 5600G or less performance pretty much, but the processor is definitely going to absolutely slap that performance because you're getting insane clock speeds, you're getting really good core counts, 
getting super good thermals and everything. And on top of that, you're getting Gen 5 support out of the box with a lot of other cool new features. So yeah, if you want to learn more about the Ryzen CPUs that just launched, definitely check the links down below. Again, we'll be doing a full build guide tomorrow, the next video that goes live, uh, where we'll be building with the Ryzen 9 and actually use a discrete graphics card, the 6900 XT. So stay subscribed for that. But yeah, let us know what your thoughts are on the iGPUs and let me know if you're excited for a potential G series CPU that comes with even more of these RDNA 2 compute units packed in because I think they can be very powerful and pretty good for the money. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now, one of the most exciting things about these new launches is coming soon to PC Bros. Hopefully, we'll have one of those PCs for sale, and also, hopefully, we'll be able to get some more from AMD so that we can start supplying you guys with some 7000 series stuff. PC Bros. Uh, tags where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. And if you use our special discount code, Bros 2 on checkout, you can save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.